installment number two for my New Year's resolution. I am trying to do this weekly, typically every Sunday. I'm not sure if I should have a, uh, a schedule. I'll probably figure that out, but we're just winging it. Want to give it a try. So this week, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks and show you what I'm working on. So one tip of the day is CA glue. Most people uh, are concerned about the shelf life of CA glue, and rightfully so. CA glue is hydroscopic, which means it wants to absorb water, and it uses the alkaline in that water to kick the CA. That's what makes it, you know, harden. It's the moisture in the air or the wood or on the surface that of the two materials you're gluing to. And um, if you want to extend the shelf life, uh, put it in a refrigerator, and that's a cool, dry place. That's great. One common misnomer is that if you open the CA glue, then put it back in the refrigerator, that'll increase the shelf life. That is wrong, fast, ball, no, ah. Uh, the reason being is that you now have warm and moist air inside the CA glue. And if you put it in a refrigerator, it will condense that moisture out of that air, drip into the CA and kick it. So it'll decrease the shelf life of your CA glue. So there's a, a, a little tip. And um, how do I get around that? So what I do is I have a coffee can here and I actually buy these uh, little desiccant um, packs. You get these with the electronics and what have you. Drop a few of those in there. Keep your CA glue in that and put your lid on. And now I have sort of a, a moisture free uh, environment that will uh, help store and increase the shelf life of my CA glue. So there's my tip of the day. And um, it's been a crazy week. This is the whole capital week and uh, not even going there. Uh, so what else am I working on? I am working on a bunch of stuff as usual. Uh, last week I showed you sort of this disc here. I'm continuing to um, inlay uh, opal around the rim. And I'm, what I'm doing here is since this is a compound curve, I'm using what's called pattern wax. Pattern wax is a thin sheet of wax that has a uh, PVA or a, um, a pressure sensitive adhesive on it. And I can peel that off and I can sort of stick this on here and I can bend around the surface, creating a little dam. And uh, I can add uh, my CA glue or epoxy and kind of uh, sort of control where that where that's lying on to. So to continue to watch this project. This is sort of a sculptural item that I'm working on. Some pretty nice wood. Uh, also working on a birdhouse at the University of Rochester. I'm not sure I should say this. Well, he's probably not watching. So this is a birdhouse, uh, Rush Reeves Library that um, is their main, uh, you know, architectural sort of center point of the, of the campus here in Rochester. And uh, this tree was planted by Patrick Berry. He's a Rochester luminary back in the 1800s who helped develop uh, the, um, the surrounding area and the parks and things like that. Uh, so we know he planted uh, this tree because it fell down on his property and it was about 100 years old. So they kind of did the math and uh, made this out of that historic wood. So this is the top of the birdhouse. So that's kind of fun, little side project there. Also working on some poles. So these are uh, poles for the bedroom set that I've been working on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna inlay, I'm gonna make a mold of this out of uh, Smooth On's Mold Star 31. This is a new silicone of theirs. The rep stopped by, got a free sample, woo! And we'll be making a mold out of that. So watch for that. I also have a mold course if you're interested in how to make mold and doing castings, uh, so sort of imagine woodworking, you can go there and there's a whole course available. But I've uh, made these little poles. I'm gonna make these out of cast composite bronze. So I take bronze powder, mix it with the resin, pour it in. I can then buff it and shine it up without using a foundry and all that business. And then in the center, we'll inlay uh, shagri, which is actually um, stingray skin. It's kind of like leather and we'll inlay that. I'll be laser cutting that out and gluing that in. So that's gonna be kind of a fun little nice detail. So um, that's going on. What else do we got here? Uh, just got these back, hold on. These are um, on my Veneer Me Crazy class. I do a veneering course the first Sunday of every month uh, on veneering. So uh, we, we're on veneer seven, seven, seven and we're doing radial matches that's those uh, tables veneer tables you see with a a big sunburst oh someone logged on someone's watching oh yeah all right so um 
So we'll be doing uh, radio matches. And I actually had these uh, CNC'd out. These are kind of cool. These are for um, determining the, the size of the pizza pie. So radio matches are a bunch of triangles glued together. And getting all that grain lined up is kind of tricky sometimes. So um, the system I use is these uh, clear patterns. We'll be reviewing that. So I just got those in. What else we got going? I'm going to switch my camera here. I think I can turn this camera around. Let's see if I switch this here. Come on. Come up here. These are some uh, copper finials that go on top of a monastery. So I am working on those. And you can see they're kind of banged up here. So I have to rebuild one of these and then take a mold of that and then cast new elements out of this. And again, this will be uh, copper coated or bronze coated so it'll continue to patina so we're doing we're sort of doing that that's kind of fun and of course this is my uh, recording studio sort of workshop and what else did we do here this is a uh, cast thing i just did uh, last weekend we did a sort of inlay course and this is uh, extending on that and hey how's it going uh, we did have a nice holiday. Thank you. It was, uh, you know, by ourselves, which is just fine. I'm very happy about that. Uh, so this, uh, this one's kind of cool because it's um, inlaid with a purfling from a guitar from Luthiers and then epoxy and gold leaf and mother pearl kind of doing a, a world spiral thing. So look for videos on that. So that's, um, that's kind of cool. So let's see. I don't know if we got anything else of interest here let me get switch this back no i don't think so so that's sort of what's going on this week i am uh just trying to just laying low and let me move this back down here and uh just you know working away i'm 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 glad the holidays are over i mean i'm um it's nice to have a holiday but i Never seem to get enough time in the shop and, you know, all the responsibilities. I'm just, I want to get back to work. Uh, so hopefully we're going we're gonna to start cranking up and, 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 and getting, uh, getting busy there. So that's my weekly um, thing. Go Bills. Hey, the Bills, are, they're going all the way. <laughs> I don't know about that, but we're very excited here in Western New York about Buffalo Bills. And uh, I think it's a game on now. So I think I'm going to go in there, crack a cold one, and uh, just try to take a little time off while I uh, work on, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm working on some uh, other inlay. So I made this little jig here. So this is a bending jig. So I will be taking copper flat wire and wrapping it in little spirals. And I'll be doing another sort of uh, inlay bowl that instead of the back black purfling, I'm gonna be doing copper. So taking copper flat wire, putting it on edge in little spirals, casting black or blue or some other epoxy resin around and then put it back in a lathe and turn it kind of a cool way of doing some inlay. So that'll be fun. And that's sort of a follow up again for the inlay class I taught last week. Uh, that will be available again at Imagine Woodworking. Uh, I'm in the process of editing that. It takes me uh, for what it's worth. So the class, usually classes are two hours, two and a half hours, and uh, it takes me all day to set up. And then it probably takes me another eight hours to watch that video at least three times and cut out all the flubs and when I'm looking for a pencil and, and I try to add images to make it a little more interesting. Uh, it's usually sort of a, a, an event like this where I try to be as set up as I can, but you know, who knows how that goes. So I edit that all out and make it look cleaner uh, recording. And again, then I post it. So that hopefully should go up. Uh, I might be loading it tonight in fact, so look for that. So thanks everybody for watching. Uh, Appreciate you supporting me. I'm going to try to do this every week and maybe we'll try to set a time. Uh, it gets recorded and, and you can watch it anytime. But um, that's it. Stay safe. Wear your mask. We'll see you next time. Okay. Bye bye.